large eruptions at Yellowstone, so much material comes out, entire mountain ranges end up falling into the ground and essentially disappearing. These eruptions are enormous. The amount of material erupted from them, huge. A lot of things can happen that we're not really ready for. Mountain, a volcano previously thought to be extinct, erupted this morning, devastating the Idaho towns of Ketchum, Sun Valley. Deep within the heart of Yellowstone National Park, there lies an imminent threat. The tranquility of the park is shattered by the ominous signs of a colossal volcano waking from its slumber. The recent sudden uplift has sent shockwaves through the scientific community and sparked a sense of unease across the whole nation. Despite Yellowstone's history of sporadic eruptions, nothing could have prepared us for this unprecedented and terrifying event. As the park officials take drastic measures to safeguard visitors, this question remains on everyone's mind. Will this slumbering giant awaken and unleash an unimaginable catastrophe? Yellowstone National Park is one of the most picturesque locations in the United States, known for its serene landscapes and natural wonders. But beneath the beauty lies a terrifying threat, the Yellowstone Caldera, a supervolcano that could potentially erupt with catastrophic consequences. Recent volcanic activity has caused the ground to swell and rise, and scientists are closely monitoring the situation to determine whether the dormant giant is about to awaken. Established in 1872, Yellowstone National Park is the world's first national park and home to the Yellowstone Caldera. The caldera is a massive basin that sits at the peak of the Yellowstone volcano, and it's often referred to as a supervolcano. According to the Natural History Museum in London, the Yellowstone caldera has the potential to unleash a magnitude 8 eruption on the volcanic explosivity index. This kind of eruption could discharge more 240 cubic miles of material. To put that into perspective, the famous eruption of Mount Pinatubo in the Philippines in 1991 which is considered one of the most powerful volcanic eruptions in recent history, was only rated a 6 on the same index. That means that the Yellowstone supervolcano eruption could be over 100 times more powerful than the one at Mount Pinatubo. Recent magma activity has caused the ground to swell and rise by up to 10 inches, indicating that the magma is cooling and hardening, but this could also be a sign that the monster is ready to awaken. Scientists are studying the last three known eruptions to predict what to expect from a potential Yellowstone eruption, and the evidence of the most recent one, which occurred over 600,000 years ago, can still be seen across the vast expanse of the park. The largest eruption in Yellowstone's history occurred 2.1 million years ago and ejected over 580 cubic miles of volcanic ash, magma, gases, and other substances, making it the largest eruption ever recorded in the history of North America. The aftermath of these catastrophic eruptions left the Yellowstone volcano swallowing everything in its path, from forests to mountains, before collapsing in on itself and forming a depression that still exists today. The closest similar volcanic eruption we have seen in recent history is the infamous Mount St. Helens eruption in 1980, which caused the loss of 56 human lives, countless animals, and destroyed hundreds of square kilometers of land in Washington and Oregon. Comparing the infamous Mount St. Helens eruption to the last Yellowstone supervolcano eruption would be like comparing a firecracker to a nuclear bomb. The eruption, estimated to be a thousand times more powerful than St. Helens, spewed out a deluge of scorching ash, molten rock, and lethal gases high into the sky, possibly blanketing a vast area of the continent. While most people think of volcanic eruptions as massive explosions with lava flowing everywhere, there are many different types of volcanic events, ranging from minor to catastrophic. For instance, hydrothermal explosions, which are steam and hot water eruptions, are less severe than a full-scale eruption, but can still be dangerous. One type of volcanic activity that is less destructive is lava flows. Unlike explosive eruptions, lava flows occur when molten rock oozes out of cracks and slowly flows over the ground. While still a type of magmatic eruption, they are not as catastrophic as a full-scale caldera-forming eruption. Fortunately, Yellowstone has only had one caldera-forming eruption, but it was a doozy, occurring over 600,000 years ago. Yellowstone also had a lava flow about 70,000 years ago, and there were approximately 30 additional lava flows following the major eruption. Even though it has been thousands of years since the last lava flow, visitors to Yellowstone can still see evidence of this volcanic activity. The rock formations that make up the park, including the famous Old Faithful Geyser, are all products of volcanic activity. 
scientists have used a new technique to analyze 20-year-old seismic data to determine the amount of molten rock that could potentially erupt if the volcano were to blow. According to their study, published in the Science Journal, the upper magma reservoir contains more liquid magma than previously thought, ranging from 16% to 20%. For 2 million years, there has been a massive magmatic system there, stated Brandon Schmant, a geophysicist at the University of New Mexico and one of the study's authors. It does not look like it's going away, that's for sure. Scientists are curious about what the future holds for the Yellowstone volcano, so they have been trying to figure out the amount and location of molten rock near the surface. The increased activity has sparked widespread discussion about the likelihood of a full-scale eruption. But if it were to happen, how destructive would it be? While the threat of a Yellowstone eruption may seem remote, the potential consequences are catastrophic. If Yellowstone were to erupt, it could cause widespread destruction, affecting not only the park but as we can see, the potential eruption of the Yellowstone supervolcano is not something to be taken lightly. Even minor eruptions, such as lava flows and hydrothermal explosions, can have a significant impact on the surrounding environment and communities. The recent uplift and magma activity in Yellowstone have scientists on high alert, monitoring the volcano closely to detect any signs of an impending eruption. One of the key concerns in the event of a Yellowstone eruption is the ash fallout. The eruption would likely spew out massive amounts of ash, which could travel thousands of miles and have a significant impact on air travel. The ash fallout would also have severe health implications, as it can cause respiratory problems and other health issues. Another potential impact of a Yellowstone eruption is the release of toxic gases, such as sulfur dioxide and carbon dioxide. These gases can have a devastating impact on the environment and pose a significant risk to human health. In addition, the eruption could trigger earthquakes and other geological events, causing further damage and destruction. Given the potential impact of a Yellowstone eruption, it's crucial that scientists continue to closely monitor the volcano and develop contingency plans to minimize the damage in the event of an eruption. This could include evacuation plans for nearby communities as well as measures to protect critical infrastructure and wildlife. It's also important to note that the potential eruption of the Yellowstone supervolcano is just one of many geological hazards that we face. Other risks include earthquakes, tsunamis, and landslides, among others. By studying these hazards and developing strategies to mitigate their impact, we can better prepare ourselves for the unpredictable forces of nature. In conclusion, the potential eruption of the Yellowstone supervolcano is a significant threat that we must take seriously. While the likelihood of an eruption is currently low, the recent uplift and magma activities serve as a stark reminder of the destructive power of nature. By continuing to monitor the volcano and develop contingency plans, we can minimize the damage and ensure the safety of our communities. Let us know what you think about this. As always, thanks for watching our video. See you in the next one.